It's not very often that a plane will get added to War Thunder and it genuinely impresses me, but this is an exception. This is the Italian Ariette, or Ariette, Ariette, Ariette. I don't really know, but I'm gonna call it the Ariette. The Ariette is a premium rank six battle rating 9.3 gunfighter for the Italian nation, and it is absolutely insane. The Ariette is basically the Sagittario's final form. Instead of just one engine, you get a whole second engine as well. But it doesn't act like a traditional two-engine fighter. The second engine only activates when you're at maximum throttle, or I guess above maximum throttle at 110%. You'll notice when the second engine turns on because there's a second air intake that pops up on the top and rear of the aircraft. Before I get into any specifics of this aircraft, I want to talk about the matchmaker you face with this thing. The Ariette sits at 9.3, which is the absolute worst battle rating for Air RB right now. At this battle rating, you're going to get up tiered just about every game. Like, it's... 80 plus percent of your games are going to be full up tiers, which wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't for the missiles that you face. Some of the most annoying ones are going to be the A5Cs with the Magics and the MiG early MiG-21s with the R60s. Now normally these missiles aren't a problem because a lot of aircraft you're going to play are going to have flares, but this is the Ariette, so you don't have any missiles or any flares. But as annoying as this can be, it's really not that big of a problem if you're super attentive to everything that's going on around you. So moving on from the matchmaker, let's talk about the Ariette itself. Any of y'all out there car people, I'm gonna make a comparison. So the most advanced planes you're gonna face, like the A5Cs and the early MiG-21s with R60s and Magics, those are like the brand new sports cars, like it's the brand new Mustang GT fresh off the lot, the brand new Supra, brand new whatever the money could buy. The Ariette? It's a clapped out Honda Civic with a giant turbo that cost approximately $2,300 to build that makes more horsepower than any of these brand new sports cars. It has none of the technology, but all of the fun. The Ariette with that extra engine has insane acceleration and climb rate for a plane without an afterburner. It can pull 14 Gs no problem constantly. And through those 14 G turns, it somehow manages to hold its energy, which is exactly why this thing can absolutely crush. The Ariette can literally out dogfight every single aircraft in this whole game. However, if your enemies try to run away, you're just not going to be able to catch them because just about everything you face in an up tier is going to be supersonic. And the Ariette is not. Oh yeah, there's one thing I want to bring up that I found kind of difficult with the Ariette. The guns. I don't know what it was. I don't know if I'm just like rusty or something, but I literally could not aim these guns to save my life half the time. Anything outside of 300 meters right in front of my face, I could just not hit anything. And I know that's 100% a skill issue because everyone I've talked to loves these guns. But it's whatever, I accept my skill issue. Now let's talk battle tactics. You can basically do whatever you want because you climb like crazy. You can literally go on up there with the A5Cs and the MiG-21s up at 8,000 meters at the start of the match if you really want to. Would I advise doing that? Well, not really. But you can if you want. One thing I was doing that I really bothered myself by doing was I would try and always get into the first person I would see, I would just start dogfighting and then I'd be like, oh, I, I, you know, I'd kill him, but then I'd get missile because I'm at low speed. And then I'd get mad and realize I can't get mad at literally anything or anybody but myself just because I put myself in that situation and I deserved it. But on those games where I was actually focusing on trying to stay alive and playing a bit more carefully, it was basically easy mode with this thing. You don't even have to try and fake out the missile launches coming at you, it's, even with magics, you can just turn left and you'll be out of the way of the missile just because this thing pulls so hard. So let's summarize the RES performance. It has incredible acceleration, it has incredible turning capability, and it has incredible energy retention too at higher speeds. But then there's that catch of the up tiers every single game fighting against magics and R60s and the fact that if a player actually just doesn't want to die they can just run away from you and you're never going to catch them. Alright enough about the plane, let's get into a game. So first up we've got this MiG-19 engaging me from behind. I take it up into this sort of uh, vertical corkscrew maneuver, hopefully to get him to overshoot, and luckily it works out. He's now in front of me, both of us at very very low speeds, so I'm going to be able to get some shots off and take him out really easily. Up next I've got an F100 lined up for an easy kill shot. Set him on fire, but one of my teammates missiles comes out and takes him out for the kill. Unfortunate, but that's how it is. After that I whiff some very easy shots on an F4C head back to the furball, and then engage this A5C. Set him on fire, and luckily no one takes the kill. Even though it kinda looks like this J35 tried to do just that. After he's dead, I notice an F5C coming in below me. He appears to be tunnel visioned on my teammate, so it's gonna set me up for another easy shot. Luckily, I don't miss this one. It doesn't instantly kill him, but that's the F5C for you. I follow him for a second, fire off another shot, and now he's dead. At this point there's only a few players left, so I start heading towards the enemy airfield to see if I can catch anyone taking off. Find this SU-7 coming from their runway, and luckily he hasn't had the time to go full speed yet. Get a crit, and the kill. 
after he's dead, I hang around the enemy runway for a little longer to see if anyone else is coming, and luckily I find this F-105. I'm going to do basically what I did earlier to that MiG-19. I take it into the vertical. He couldn't quite get his guns on target. I stayed off his guns for this pass. He rolls in front of me, and then he's dead. So now, all that's left is this A5C and this F3H. A5C kind of makes a pass on me, but he doesn't follow me up. The F3H, on the other hand, starts taking this fight. Now, I've never used the F3H before, but from my understanding, it's not all that good. He dips under my guns, but I miss the shot. He crosses in front of my guns once again, and now he's dead. Now all that's left is the A5C, but I'm not going to get the kill on him, and we're eventually going to win the match either way, so it doesn't really matter. So that's 6 kills and an assist in a full up tier in the Ariette. So how do I feel about the Ariette? Honestly, it is absolutely amazing. It's really frustrating just because you're sitting at pretty much the worst battle rating in the game. You gotta deal with magics and R60s when you don't have flares, which is pretty much the only major downside to flying this plane. Other than that, this thing is completely nuts. If you can get somebody in a dogfight, you will literally win every single time. Honestly, I have more trouble in down tiers because I'm fighting things like the MiG-15 Biz and the MiG-17, which are both absolute energy monsters. Even then though, you can win those fights pretty easily as long as you play smart. However, do I recommend you buy this premium plane? I'm honestly not too sure. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, but I think this thing is one of the most fun aircraft in the game right now. That is, if you can put up with the 10.3 up tiers 80% of your games. Honestly, I don't think there's too much else to say about this thing. So I guess this one's going to be a little shorter than normal, isn't it? I guess it doesn't really matter though. Alright, what do y'all think about the Ariette? Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And on that, I will see you guys next time. Peace.